Oh, 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 Chet's a tough guy, huh? Hmm? All right, I'll give you what you want, Chet. Who else wants something? Y'all some idiots out here waiting for the concussion, huh? What's up, Hank? You want a piece? Hmm? What's up, good people? This is Crimey Davis Jr. And these guys are idiots. Ain't no other way to slice it. They wanted this work, and I gave them full-time employment. Hmm? Please subscribe. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Dave Natch. I speak stocks. Today is Thursday, December 14th. And in today's video, I have one play for you and one to put on stock. Before I go into the play, let me delve into yesterday's recap of the overall markets. The Dow closed up to an all-time high of 37,090. Brand new all-time high for the Dow. The bulls are in full effect. First six months this year, the stock market was looking very dreary, very worrisome. And uh, what a difference six months made. Let me cut the black the sky and continue. The Dow closed up 1.40% to settle at 37,090. The NASDAQ, they spiked 1.38% at 14,733. The NAS, Federal Reserve Bank will be cutting interest rate next year. And on that, the stock market is spiking. Apple rose 1.67% to settle at $197.96. The big winner yesterday, again, CCCC. The stock closed up a whopping and epic 135% based on an analyst upgrade. They upgraded the stock to a $12 per share. <laughs> the stock closed up 135% to settle at $5.51. The volume yesterday was a whopping 221 million shares exchange hands. This stock is up over 300% in three days. CC, CC. Dave's play today is a SP play. In and out, grab and go, one and move. Do not overstay, you're welcome. XBP, XBP is up 150% thus far in the pre at $14.27. Wait for a pullback before entering this one. The higher day thus far in the pre, $20. There's no news out. But I suspect bottom fishing. The stock closed down 19% yesterday to trade at a brand new 52 week low of $5.65. I suspect bottom fishing here. This one has spikeability. For example, December 1st through December 5th, went from $11 to all the way to $47. $11 to $47 in a couple of trading days. And that's their 52 week high, $7.40. This one is in the software space. Their headquarters out of New York City. Let's kick the tires. What's the tires on this? Brother, you didn't kick them. Oh, I'd rather I check them out before I'm gonna think about purchasing. They were a market cap of 171 million, 29 million in the float. 72% of the float are held by insiders. This tells me Directors and officers are putting their money where their mouth is. 72% of the float are held by insiders. 25% of the float are held by institution and short size measly, a minuscule, a minute. 0.09% of the float. This is XBP. Their operating margin is a positive 2%. They have 168 million in revenues. They have a total cash of 2.5 million and a total debt of a whopping 36 million they have to work on their debt load here. Current ratio is sitting below par. Current ratio is sitting at 0.64. However, their operating cash flow is a positive 2.3 million. Sparse data on this one, XBP. Please put in stock today, HRYU. HRYU is up 32% at $1.42. This was Dave's play on December 12th. Go ahead to my December 12th video for the numbers on HRYU. That's all I have for you, ladies and gentlemen. Don't forget to follow me on X at WT for my stock alerts. In the meantime, in between time, always protect your neck. Always set a stop loss. Do not invest more than you're willing to lose. And whenever you see some profits, take some profits because now you see them, now you don't. Dave Natch.
I'm out. Boom, bam, make your next trade your best trade. Please trade responsibly. I'll see you on the next one. <laughs> Do remember, if you wish to open a trading account, check out my Webull link below. You will get some free stocks. Minimum deposit required is just one penny. Also, pre-market hours trading starts at 4 a.m. sharp. 4 a.m. sharp with Webull. Webull only the way to go. Pre-market hours trading is very risky. It's not for the risk averse. Thank you for watching. Dave Natch, I'm out. D-O-G-E. D-O-G-E. This one might be heading back to point zero seven. Please pay attention. Also put in your stalkers today, P-F-I-E. They're up 69% at 191. Very low volume on this one. Watch if the volume picks up today. P-F-I-E. And lastly, put VTVT on your stock list. VTVT is up 30% in the pre at 380. Please watch those closely today. Before I go into today's play, take a short recess. Sit tight. Do remember, if you wish to open a trading account, check out my Weibo link below. You will get some free stocks. Good stocks too. Okay, trading starts at 4 a.m. sharp. 4 a.m. sharp with Weeble. Weeble, the way to go. Dave's play today is AACG. The stock is up 85% in the pre at 255. This one has a low volume. Watch for the volume to pick up today. Just give you some bearing on the action in the pre-market. The stock spiked as high as four bucks. The high of the day in the pre, four bucks. AACG, sitting at 255 right about now, okay? Let's kick the tires. They were a market cap of 41 million. They have 9 million in the float. Okay. Their quarterly revenue growth is up 3.9% year over year. Their gross profit, 36 mil. This is AACG, Dave's play today. Their current ratio is sitting at 0 0.50. Very sparse data on this one. This one is headquarters in China. And what did I say about Chinese companies? They have a propensity to spike for days. Okay. Also, they're riddled with fraud. So you want to trade carefully with this one. AACG, in and out, grab and go. Dave's bonus play today is AVXL. AVXL, they're up 68% at 1750. That's a new 52 week high. This one is breaking out like a sore. They're in the Alzheimer's space. Very great data coming out. Also, SAVA. Great data coming out. And these stocks are hotter than hell right now. I, rec I recommended SAVA in June at two bucks. Go ahead to my older videos, check out the numbers. S-A-V-A, -A, doing great things. All right, let me get back to AVXL. Let's kick the tires. They were a market cap of 421 million. They have 64 million in the float. 4% are insiders. Institution has 19% of the float and shorts has 9%. AVXL, day's bonus play today. Total cash in pocket, 29.25 million. There's no debt. 
Their current ratio is 4.73. I like anything over two. This one is a midterm to long-term hold, AVXL. Their 50-day moving average is $6. Their 200-day moving average is five bucks. All right, and their average volume, two million. Dave's bonus play, AVXL. Watch for an opportunity to pounce on this.